we are back home. The dogs just had a nice day sitting in their yard sleeping. They probably could have run 20 miles, but I think they enjoyed just sitting around today and uh, enjoying the sunshine. The cold, cold, hello, Burby. Hello, Burby. Hello, Burby. The cold, cold winter. <laughs> You guys ready? Okay. Just, uh, I just got the dog started going down the road. And we're here at the trailhead waiting for Robin. And the dogs are getting a little anxious, wondering where she is. So we got food for four days for dogs and us. We got two sleeping bags. We got some straw for the dogs. We got a picket line. We got our camp cook stove. We got a couple books to read. The plan is to do 20 miles today, which should be super easy. 35 miles tomorrow, which might be a challenge. And then 20 and 20. We'll see. Taking videos from the back of a polk is different than taking videos from the back of a dog sled. Uh, and the dog sled I can hold on with one hand and video with one hand. With the polk, I was pretty much trying to double pull most of the time. I was trying to take as much of the, my weight off the dogs as possible. This was a big trip for them. Uh, lots of miles, day after day. You know, usually we do 20 miles and take an easy day after. You know, this trip we did 20 miles and then did 35 miles and then did 20 miles and then did 20. Um, so I thought they were up for it, but I also thought that I should make it as easy as possible. So I had to double pull on my skis, you know, as often as I could, uh, which makes holding the camera difficult. So um, there are gaps in this story. So I think you can understand what's going on. But if you see a large, if you're like, wait, how did they get from here to there? Just re recognize that uh, I must have been polling. And uh, it was for the dogs. Day one was especially tricky. The trail that we started on turned out to have been used by um, snow machines with what we call paddle tracks. Uh, they're, they're deep, three inch or deeper rubber tracks that instead of sort of staying on top of the snow, they, they act like a rototeller and just turn churn the trail up. Um, as a result, it was a very soft trail, a difficult trail, very bumpy trail, and uh, we all had to really work to get those first 10 miles. But we arrived healthy and happy and strong. We had some dinner, uh, we went to bed, and the next day we got up and got the cabin ready for the next guest. <laughs> Today's a big day. We're doing 35 miles today, we hope. We'll see what happens. We do have a tent in case we need to stop. Um, and there's a big climb over a pass. So we're gonna go about 15 or 20 miles first. We're gonna camp, we're gonna stop, and then we're gonna take, you know, give them some food, take a two or three hour break, and then do the second half. Um, but man, it's a beautiful day. Everything is clear. The mountains, uh, well, hills are lovely and that's where we're going so hooray for us come say hi alapa hello 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 cutie hello cutie you having a good time you having a good time hi hi ha ha you're excited you're excited ah 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 uh, <laughs> you got some energy? You got some energy? <laughs> okay, enough good dog.
Good dodge, good dodge. Let's go, let's go. Now it's coming. There we go, good dodge. We figured out, good dodge, good dodge. Whoa, stay. Such good dodge. You are so good. You are so good. not going to the top of these mountains we're going through a pass which is much much lower looks windy up there hits ice, makes a bunch of noise, and they take off, which is the wrong time for them to take off. Whoa, doggies. Let's see if Robin made it. Whoa. About 200 yards away from the cabin, we hit another trail that was groomed in for the first time in the two days we've been out here, we hit a groomed trail. And man, those dogs just pop. We were running, we were sprinting along. It was beautiful. 35 miles and they're like, ah, groom trail, let's let's rock and roll. It was beautiful. So here we are. Here we are at Windy Gap Cabin. One of the most beautiful cabins that I know of. So we spent the whole day out there from just about before the sun came up until just about the time the sun went down, we were skiing all day. Uh, so we got in there uh, ready for food and ready for sleep. And uh, the next day we got up and did some chores.
on day three, our little adventure. Just starting out of a 20 mile day. We had some excitement on icy overflow and wet overflow and craziness. I wish I could have filmed it, but I was trying to live. We are now going through a lovely undulating terrain with beautiful hills next to us. And we just have to re rearrange the dogs. I think it's kind of interesting. Yesterday we had down in the middle. Hang on. Easy doggies, nice and easy. Good dogs. Oh, here we go, here we go. Hey, nice job, thank you. dogs stay Whew. that was kind of a close call didn't see them coming boy they came around that corner we didn't hear them oh, yeah. you know it must be a four stroke we didn't hear them yeah. Just came around the corner they're like ooh. it was ooh it was big ooh Shit. Yeah. She, was she was very friendly she, she was like, she was like, you know, turned her head kind of like, whew, like, like she barely saw them in time. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's the way it is out here. Yeah. At least it wasn't a 12, <laughs> 12 dog team. Yeah, I, I wondered about the overflow. Oh, yeah, okay. I was just saying that um, we rearranged our dog team. Yeah. And we've got Noun in back. That's Verb. I'm sorry, thank you. We've got Verb in back because this way, as he tries to sniff, as he tries to like sniff and like mess around and bother, he's got three dogs pulling him. Yesterday he just had a D and then him and then the two wheel dogs pulling. And so every time you would sniff a branch or sniff a leaf or sniff anything on the trail, a D would look back and it was really annoying. Um, so today we set it up differently and hopefully it works better. end of our 20 mile run on our third day. So we've done 20, 35, and this is the end of 20 coming up here. And we are moving along the flat ground quite nicely. Three days in a row, big days for us. They're doing really fantastic. Well, <laughs> everyone except Verb, who's doing good, but he's still a puppy dog. Come on, come on, let's go inside and get a snack. Ow, ow, that's my flesh. Ah, that's my head. Ah, ah you guys, aren't you tired? Ow, ow. You guys aren't acting very tired. Did they just run 20 miles dragging a sled? Or is that my imagination? Why'd you leave the door open? Come on, doggies, inside. Inside. Good dogs, good dogs. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? What 
We just got started on day four of our trip. We're about a half mile out of camp. Just about to head up one of the two big climbs of the day. So that hill in the background is what we're gonna be going up and over. And that's actually not the part I'm worried about. The part I'm worried about is the downhill. Has some overflow ice, some side hill overflow ice. It's a lot of downhill. And these dogs, they seem to think downhill means run harder and faster as I yell. Easy. Easy now, doggies. Easy. Hey, easy. No, easy. Easy. So we got a motion in the way. We got a snow hook over here. And then we up front, we got the lead dog held in place by a pair of skis. And the dogs are kind of lined out and stuck. They just had a nice little snack. We got to go up one big hill. And after we get up one big hill, we're in our backyard sort of. And the dogs know that trail really well, and it's really well put in, and we should fly those last seven miles. We're at the top of the big hill. I would guess it's a thousand foot climb. I don't know. I might be making that up. No, 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 you guys stay over here. The last seven miles did go by quickly. The dogs um, smelled another dog team in front of us. We could see their trail in front of us, and so they spent the next seven miles trying to catch those dogs. We pulled into the parking lot just as they put the last dog into their dog truck. So that made life easier for me. Uh, but they were pulling like they could have pulled another 20 miles. It was, it was, a, it was a stupendous trip to see these dogs uh, really working together as a team and, uh, and uh, pulling us so far and so easily. It was just a, it was just a delight. Thank you. 